Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger says the Republican Party has lost its way and he wants to change that. Congressman Kinzinger joins us this morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. You bet. Let's start with you heard us talking about Mitch McConnell coming out and criticizing uh, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Uh, still no word from Kevin McCarthy uh, from the House. What do you think will happen? Should he come out and, and speak about Marjorie Taylor Greene? Yeah, he should. I think he should strip her committees from her and probably prevent her from caucusing with the Republicans. We can't prevent her from calling herself a Republican, but we can prevent her from basically showing up to conference. And look, if we got to cut this cancer out of the party. I think Mitch McConnell said it right. You know, we used to look at somebody that was a 9-11 truther and just totally disavow them. And now you have somebody that's a 9-11 truther plus with all these other extreme views. If we ever think we want to win an election again, and quite honestly, it shouldn't even be about winning an election. It should just be about we have to tell the American people the truth. So I certainly hope uh, Kevin McCarthy does that. And we'll see where this goes this week. What does it say about your party that most members in your party are not speaking out against Marjorie Taylor Greene? I think it says a lot. I think it says, you know, look, the party's strong, but it also says what we need to do right now is quit focusing on trying to win elections as the end goal. Maybe try to start telling people the truth. Maybe paint an optimistic vision. And that's why this countryfirst.com, which I launched, is, is there. Is just to say, like, do you believe in an optimistic future? Do you want to hear about that? And that's what we have to get out of this darkness. And instead, we've been in a cycle of, like, what is it going to take to win the next election? And we haven't led the American people with a vision. You've uh, had some repercussions for speaking out against the Republican Party, and uh, you say it's gone as far as death threats. Are you... Uh, is, are you afraid of maybe getting voted out in a primary in 2022? There's been calls for that from fellow Republicans. The only thing I'm afraid of is not being true to what I believe. And like at the end of my time in politics, looking in the mirror and thinking I was a coward about telling the truth. I don't fear any primary. I mean, my goodness, you know, I think if I have one, I'll win. I'm convinced. But regardless, I just think the best thing we can do is tell the American people the truth. And our party has lost its way. And we're a party with a great rich history. And you know, we, this is this is that's my biggest fear is just not being able to tell the truth to the American people. Well, to extend the, the green conversation to a uh, former President Trump, you voted for impeachment. Uh, convicting is kind of a high bar. Do you think the 14th Amendment is is more doable? Or do you think that has uh, any legs? I don't know. I think, you know, it, it's possible. It depends if the Senate can kind of rally around that. But it, that's something that hasn't been utilized before. And really, impeachment is is the is the mechanism for how to deal with the president. So I frankly think that's where it should be. I wasn't convinced that the Democrats should have brought impeachment forward. But once they did, it was an easy vote for me because I can point to, you know, not just the day of the six, but all the time laid before it where the president laid the foundation for an insurrection. And I talked to a police officer, by the way, that was at that battle. And he just goes, you know, Congressman, he said it was hand-to-hand -hand combat, and it was medieval. And uh, when I heard that, I just, you know, I'm convinced I did the right thing on that. If a lot of members of the Republican Party voted for Donald Trump, and they feel alienated by the new direction you're trying to, trying to take the party, does this mean a third party might happen? What do you see happening? I, you know, it is possible, but I think what needs to happen is, and it's going to be an open fight, there's always been this focus on unity in the Republican Party, and I think we've papered over some of the dark conspiracies and lies that have grown. I think there has to be an open battle to say, this is the soul of the party. And I think the people that say, you know, Adam, you know, you, you turn against Trump or whatever, and I'm upset about it, it's like, okay. Here's the competing vision, though. Here's the optimistic vision in the future, because there have just been not been a lot of people that have shown any kind of vision besides Donald Trump. But that vision has been dark and divisive, and that's mm. what we have to get away from. Congressman Kinzinger, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for being with you us. Bet.